Bloomberg The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. A former CIA employee working as a contractor for the National Security Agency has come forward as the source behind one of the biggest leaks in U.S. history. Edward Snowden, a former CIA technical assistant now working with the NSA through the military firm Booz Allen Hamilton, revealed his identity in an interview with The Guardian of London. Snowden said he exposed top secret NSA surveillance programs to alert Americans of expansive government spying on innocents. The public needs to decide whether these programs and policies are right or wrong. And I'm willing to go on the record to defend the authenticity of them and say, I didn't change these. I didn't modify the story. This is the truth. This is what's happening. You should decide whether we need to be doing this. Snowden was speaking from Hong Kong, where he's been since last month after leaving his home in Hawaii. He says he carefully vetted each document that he released to ensure it was, quote, legitimately in the public interest. Over the last several days, Snowden's disclosures to The Guardian and The Washington Post have revealed a number of previously unknown surveillance operations carried out by the NSA. These include the collection of millions of U.S. call logs and a secret program called PRISM that gathers data on foreign Internet users from the servers of nine major firms, including Google, Microsoft, Apple, Yahoo and Facebook. Other disclosures include a presidential directive laying out the guidelines for launching cyber attacks and a data mining tool called Bound informant that details U.S. surveillance on computer and telephone networks abroad. The National Security Agency has asked the Justice Department to begin a criminal probe into the leaks. On Sunday, the chairs of both the Congressional Intelligence Committees, Congressmember Mike Rogers and Senator Di Feinstein, said the whistleblower involved should face prosecution. Speaking to NBC News, the director of national intelligence, James Clapper, said the leak has done grave damage. For me, it is uh, literally, uh, not figuratively, literally gut-wrenching to see this happen uh, because of the huge, grave damage it does to our uh, intelligence capabilities. The White House is expected to make its first comments today on Edward Snowden's coming forward as the NSA whistleblower. Snowden had been staying in the same Hong Kong hotel for the past three weeks, but he reportedly checked out earlier today. In its article disclosing his identity, The Guardian of London writes, quote, Edward Snowden will go down in history as one of America's most consequential whistleblowers alongside Daniel Ellsberg and Bradley Manning, they wrote. Well, I'll...